Welcome everybody. Today we will create pirates, metahumans and paragons. As always, we start with our infographic and look in the appearance folder. First thing is we change money to Quinn. We use a paragon and, and uh, use that as skin. We download a pirate from Maxim Bokrimov, a nice one, and we use a metahuman. G, I, K and E. These are the, the, the plates that we will use. At the end of the day, we always have to define something for our character parts class that we created in the last video. Um, what we need here is a Lara Tech Actor. That is a class binding together the animation blueprint and a skeleton mesh. And that is the class that we need to always create for everything that you want to plug in into Lara to use as a skin. So let's start with money to Quinn as the first thing. That is actually quite easy. Just go to our character parts class, open that, and look at the new part part class, and just search for Quinn here. Here we go. That's the tech actor class for Quinn that we use. We save, we compile, we try it out, and that's it already. So give it a second. Here she comes, and oh, doesn't have shaders yet, compiling, and here we go, better. You see, same thing, same animation, and easy to change. Okay, now let's think about the Paragons. Paragons is free in the in the, in the the Unreal Store. There are 30 or so of them, extremely nicely detailed, animated. They're coming from an older game. So let's grab one, let's say Terra. You just put them in the cart, they don't cost anything. So the cart will actually, after check it, update automatically and put that into your library. Takes a second or two, then you see them in the library. Problem is, they are not designed to work with 5. something, just 5.0. So, what we do, we put them into an older project and just um, add them to that project. Yeah? If you don't have it, install the engine 5.0 and yeah, create an empty project and put it in there. Then we just come. Uh, we'll, we'll move the whole folder that was created here into our Lyra starter game. So we have the Lyra starter game here and the content folder. We have my project, my dummy project here, where the Paragon Terra was actually created. Again, content folder. So we just you really, you see here the things, the assets in there, but we need a whole folder. So we just grab it and move it into the Lyra starter game content folder. Don't need to do anything within Unreal here, just use the Explorer. So now it's there, we start the game and have a short look what the next steps are from the infographic. So important thing, fix up redirectors. That's quite important, otherwise Unreal will not recognize it. And then we use this retarget animation blueprint for easy retargeting the blueprint that we imported. Okay, let's try that out. Right click on content and say fix up redirectors. That's an important step. And then we search for this retarget animation blueprint. Right click retarget animation asset, duplicate and retarget. And then you see this mask here. On the top right, you see IK retargeter. You use the U4 money to 5 quin. Then we look for the new skeleton. Normally the Paragon comes with three skeleton, just yeah, select one of them. Yeah, we see that in the preview. And the thing is we should change the folder, otherwise it lands in the, in the main folder. We want to have it into our plugins folder. So plugins, Bastian, and characters. Okay, here we go. Yeah, let's retarget and see what it does. It creates a new animation blueprint within our characters folders. Uh, preparing some shaders. And now we need this tech actor class. We search for B money or B Quinn, depending on the uh, on the character that we choose. So ours is female, so we use Quinn here. We copy the B Quinn into our folder, and then we should rename it. So let's put it like uh, B um, Paragon. 
or uh, uh, no, let's let's put it like <laughs> B Terra. We might have more than one. So B Terra here. Let's open it and have a look at this status, static gameplay text. That is something you always need in your tech actor class if you use it in in Lara. Then we go to the mesh component. We have our animation class. We want to change that to the one that belongs to the Paragon. Ah, uh, I did not remember the name. Let's also rename that, sorry. And um, that's a bit easier, so ABP Terra. Um, that's easier to find. Okay. Now again, we go to the mesh component. We go to the anime class and search for Terra. It's a bit easier. And here we go. And the skeleton mesh asset is again one of the three that are delivered. And just take one for looks best. Let's put a Griffin Knight. Then it should create all the shaders, recompile them. You see them already. Compile, save. And the tech actor class is finished. Now we only have to inform our character parts blueprint that we want to use this new skin. So new part part class. We again look for our B Terra. Here we go. Compile it, save it, and try it out. Yeah, here we go. Look at the at the textile options here, how they flap in the wind. So that looks very, very nice. Um, still not perfect. I think you would have to adjust the arm a bit um, because it's broader than our Quinn or our money is. But nevertheless, great way. Now we go to a pirate made by Maxim Bukrimov. He does great art. Um, have a look in the shop. That one is free, actually. I think it was a Christmas gift. So just buy it for zero, download it, add it to your project. It's 5.1 compatible, so um, you have an easy time doing it. Um, in the future, you might actually have to copy past it like we did, but it's easy. Then we go to content again. We search for the retarget animation blueprint. Again, right click, retarget animation assets, duplicate, and use the same UE4 money retargeter. For the assets, be a bit careful because he has the version 4 and the version 5 assets both available, and we have to choose the right one. So we, we select Pirate Full, and look at the path here. It's UE4, we don't want that. We want UE5. So again, we change it to our content directory for our plugin, characters, okay, and retarget it. So same thing, we get an animation blueprint. This time we rename it, <laughs> so it's our ABB Pirate. We need, again, our Tech Actor class. In this case, it's masculine, so we, need, we take money, copy it here, and yeah, rename it already. So that is our B Pirate. And uh, fix it up, here we are. And opening it, Again, same thing. We go to Mesh and we select the Anim class as our Pirate Animation Blueprint that we just created. And the Skeleton Mesh, again, Pirate Full. And we are careful that we don't use the 4 version, but we use the 5 version down there. Here we go. And this looks good. Compile it, save it, and be done. So. Our part class, again, gets the right one, the P pirate, compiling, saving, and that's it. We try it out. And here we go, yeah. Textiles are flapping, looks very good, nice animation. So easy again. Next thing, MetaHuman. MetaHuman can be created by you. It uses Bridge to put them inside of Unreal, um, but you can also play around with them, MetaHuman, UnrealEngine.com. And here we go adding and Quixel Bridge. Sign in if you need, then you go to the MetaHumans. There are a couple of them kind of pre-configured. Let's look at mine. Here we have Meta2. We download, it takes some time, and we add it to the project. If you get that question, you just say yes. It's kind of override the common assets. That's fine. Might have an update with it. And after a while, we should have a new folder called Meta Humans. You see it here. And we have Meta2 there. And it already comes with the class that we can use as a blueprint class. It just has the, has the wrong base. So we have to rebase it, reparent it, 
and reparent to Lara tech actor. That's the first thing, maybe compile afterwards. And then we need to add a couple of things, especially the tags. So first thing, we search for live and say use live retarget mode. Second thing, we search for tag and add two static gameplay tags. One of them is the feminine or masculine animation style. The other one is the body style. So just search for medium in this case. And here you have the body style. You can also use larger or smaller bodies here. There are different tags for it. We compile it and save it. And then of course, have to tell our character parts class that we want to use this new tech actor class. So again, opening that one, then we have our meta two and compile it, save it. That's it already. We try it out. Yeah, and meta two is falling into the level. Again, same animation and quite easy to do. It always resolves around this tech actor class. If you have that available, you can very easily um, reskin all the characters in Lara. So that's it for the moment. Next thing, we will look at menus and menu structures and see you there.